Hi everybody and thank you for spending time with me again today. Today I'm back trying to answer questions but before I get to that I want to know what the heck is going on with our youth. Have they lost every bit of grey matter they were born with? A few weeks ago climate change activists or then the stop oil group threw some sauce at the Mona Lisa and glued themselves to a wall. Yesterday, two young idiots from the same group had thrown custard pies into King Charles's waxwork at Madame Tussauds. And in Germany, two other idiots threw mashed potatoes at a Monet painting, throwing food stuff at artworks to stop the use of oil. Really? Okay, make that make sense. God forbid they took a bus to the museums or Madame Tussauds. I hope they walked from wherever they came from. Otherwise, they just made even bigger idiots of themselves than they already are, if that is even possible. Okay, so let's once again move on to the Harkles, Old Haz and Rachel in Zane. I received two inquiries about a story which apparently appeared on Twitter and which alleges that Megan bullied the Wessex children. Allegedly, she made several comments about James and called Lady Louise a D-Y-K-E. I searched everywhere and could only find two videos allegedly based on that tweet. However, Although it is my policy not to criticize other creators, it is also my policy not to believe anything coming from a bad computerized voice, as is the case in these videos. The same video alleges that she made snide comments about Prince Louis and Prince George, mocked the Cambridge children's nanny and made fun of another staff member's English by having her repeat everything she said. I tried my best, but thus far, I could not find anyone to verify or deny this. I can thus not confirm or deny it either. But remember Sophie's face during Meghan and Harry's last official engagement, that church service in 2020. Sophie could barely look at Meghan. Remember the Queen's funeral? Not a word was spoken between Sophie and Megan, and Sophie did not look too pleased to be riding in a vehicle with Megan. We also saw Sophie glaring at Megan with daggers coming out of her eyes. We all assumed it was because of how Megan treated the Queen and so on. But maybe there is indeed a little more to it. Maybe Megan did make remarks about the Wessex children, and that for sure would have Sophie up in arms. Remember that I specifically mentioned that strangely, Megan was not on the balcony along with the Wessexes the night of the grandchildren's vigil. Maybe she was indeed too afraid to spend that 15 minutes alone with the Wessexes. So, to recap, I do not know whether the story about the Wessex children are true, but I do know that there was an explosive disagreement, or we can even call it an argument, in the royal family last year. I do know that it started between King Charles and William, and that the Harkles and Prince Andrew were under discussion at the time. I know that the argument was taken to Windsor and that it turned into a family issue and that Prince Edward in particular was highly upset. I know that the Wessexes then went on a family holiday a while later and things appeared to have calmed down a little when they returned. So it could be that as well, whatever that was. Then I received a ton of email asking me why I think it is that regardless of all the bad press and all the proven lies, regardless of all the journalists, companies and publications being markled, Megan is still 
being invited by various organizations such as the Women's Fund of Indianapolis to speak at their events. Obviously, it is a PR machine at work. Secondly, it is because of ignorance. People do not follow every article written about her. They do not all listen to our flogs. Basically, all they know is that she is famous and married to a prince. Thirdly, because many do not care about whether they get negative or positive publicity as long as they get attention and publicity. And fourthly, Megan as a narcissist can be very charming and very manipulative. On this screen is a message I wrote to the Women's Fund of Indianapolis. I think it is self-explanatory. Will they take it to heart and cancel Megan's speech? Likely not. So, will remain frustrated and a narcissistic liar will once again be fueled to continue lying, slandering and hurting others. Good going, United States of America. Perhaps some of you need to pull your high society noses out of your rear ends and listen to your brothers and sisters on the ground. Those who still know what is going on around them and those who still have morals and values and not prepared to sell those values for a dollar or even a million dollars. Okay guys, I'm keeping this short. I still have many pages of my secret project. <laughs> I'm not quite ready to talk about it yet. Um, to edit and to get ready for Friday or at the very latest Monday. So I better say goodbye and continue with my other work. In any case guys, so until we meet again on the next video, please take good care of yourselves. Bye!